Continuing coverage of a tragedy that wiped out a family from Trumbull County. Six people were killed when their home in Warren went up in flames overnight. The victims include a family of four and their two cousins. Tonight, the community of Warren is mourning the death of Derek Dorsey and Audrey Johnson, along with their two children, 11 year old Derek and 9 year old Ariel. Their two cousins are also gone 13 year old Janice Hicks and 9 year old Miracle Hughley. News Channel 5's Alicia Ciccoloni spoke with the victim's grandparents who are trying to cope with this loss. Alicia? Well, Alicia, for friends and neighbors here, this loss is huge. But for family members, this is a true nightmare. Oh, God. How could this happen? Derek Dorsey's father, Edward Bernard, stares at the home his son lived in with his fiance, Adria Johnson, and their two children, 10 year old Ariel and 11 year old Derek Jr. He looks at the home that once held many happy memories, and his head shakes as he realizes they will never be coming back here. That's after a raging fire took their lives early Thursday morning. It just don't seem right. It just don't. I, I know accidents happen, things happen, and the things that you see sometimes, you see it on television, you know, and you see it to your next door neighbor. But when it happened to you, it's, it's, it's a hurting thing. Derek and Adria's nieces, nine year old Miracle Hughley and teenager Janice Hicks, were having a summer sleepover with the family when the fire broke out just before 5 a.m. They were also killed in the blaze. Adria's father, Daniel Johnson, says this loss is totally unbelievable to him. He cannot imagine life without his grandchildren and what he still considers to be his little girl, Adria. The only way I can really deal with this is, you know, with the help of the Lord. Yeah, you know, but um, it's a great loss for us. You know, a whole package, a whole entire family. You know, so it's hard. We're told the couple's niece, Janice, was visiting from Columbus. Officials with Warren City Schools, where the rest of the children attended, are actually having some grief counseling all day today, as well as tomorrow. They say everyone is welcome to come. Live in Warren, Alicia Ciccoloni, News Channel 5. And we have brand new details now about how this fire got started. News Channel 5's Ron Regan talked to fire investigators who are focused on the charcoal grill. It was used for a family cookout yesterday, then left next to the vinyl siding, which is a highly flammable combination. And Fire Chief Ken Nussel says there's new evidence that someone restarted the grill in the early morning hours. They're still getting some statements from other family members, and it's very possible. That, the, um, that one of the adults was dropped off at about 3 a.m. and may have charcoaled something. One more factor in this tragedy, we have learned there were no smoke detectors in the home. Stay with News Channel 5 and NewsNet5.com for continuing coverage of this story. You can also post condolences on our Facebook page, facebook.com slash WEWS5.